Hmm, stone is not ideal though. Stone is indeed not ideal. 109 units of clay. Hmm. Really doesn't sound that tempting now, does it? Damn. Even four foragers. Full time foragers. Have over the whole year not managed to deplete the berry deposit. Then it's gonna rest over the whole fucking winter and then when once it starts growing again. We seem to be in a very nice position there, I'll have to say. Fresh going off the bloody berry day. It is it is nice. It's gonna take a while to build, but ma, alas. Here, so that we can have, so we still have some in space. And we already have a road there. We do. What's the point of me doing this again? Same one little poor family working on the stones. Middle trading post. Stone. Expert. Wanna keep like 20 of them as well. The rest will get sent into the good wild world. Of it. I guess ideally we wouldn't even import any food, but that's still well, it's that's out there. Indeed pretty far out there. Wee! Fucking fly thing. Sweater what? I'm done here, I'm gonna hunt that thing like no one's business. You're already producing as much as you can. Wee! Go away. You're already running at full capacity. You're still making more timber than we're actually producing planks, so I guess there's no reason to put more cutters in there. A bit redundant, to put it mildly. Actually, trade. Let's see. Food trade. One of you costs me more. Bread costs me more. So let's not trade any bread for the moment. But then our finances recover because we can then start building up once again the um, the orchids in the backyard. So we can make some more some more food that way. We have. Yeah, we are selling the hides that memory serves.
I guess there's no reason to use the build of a tannery. At least not at the moment. Hmm. I don't really have that many people. So for farming. I think farming would help with our need for importing food. Okay, so let's see here. Farming, 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 farming. Okay, so down here is pretty damn pretty damn green. Not so much for flux though. Do we have any place that's good for barley? Not in our territory now. Flex, also not in our territory. Rye though. I don't think we have rye, do we? Rye cultivation. No, we don't. Well, it sucks to be me, I suppose. Hmm. I, mean, I guess we could build a small little field here. Right next to the living quarters. It's strange from my construction point of view, but you know, why not? Before I do that, um, if I build a farmhouse like here, and then tell them. Did this, this the lasso really wants to fucking die? Yes, it's amazing. I go like this. Like this. I go like this. Okay, then you're not gonna allow me that because you're apparently incapable of aiming that right. Aren't you capable of, you know, game being, being, being smart about this? See, now you're smart about it. Okay. But at least... Hmm. Two years of wheat and one year of letting the field rest. Then we need the windmill. Nine, ninety-nine, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. And a little communal oven. Yeah, I've assigned four people to farming. This is March, so they do have a bit of time. But if we manage to get our food dependency down even more, I'm starting to create okay, apple orchids everywhere. We might actually be in a good way. Look at them work. I mean, to be fair, they have nothing if not work power. In four people, or families, not just four random people, working on their project. I think next we're gonna buy some horses more. Some more little horses. 
Yeah, we could also probably assign somebody else. 28 family. Yeah, two more are gonna move in anyway. And then we have one to work the communal oven and one to work the fucking windmill. Look, stay out there. I do wonder how much fertility we lose per, per harvest. Also, a, um, a three-stage crop rotation. Not a bad idea, mind you, but it gets far more interesting once you start going into the territory of, you know, just dividing your fields and doing a four-stage crop rotation. of course technically speaking you know you should always leave just part of your fields empty and you know grow something like clover or something and have your animals graze there so that they can re-fertilize the ground by themselves yeah somebody talks to communal oven and since one more family moves in they will be workers at the windmill hmm it does look rather pleasant honestly it's nice and relaxing do you think the fertilizing with sheep is? Yeah, I mean, honestly, when I click on the field, I would kind of like to have an option here to, you know, actually um, participate part of the field, basically, like higher please, and go like, okay, so uh, my crop rotation is going to be like, you know, uh, this, 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 and then go like, okay, so here be animals, there be uh, something easy for the, uh, really, there's something we're going to grow for actually eating. Ah, stuff like that. Well, to be fair. In this case, my complaint is it's not autistic enough to allow me to do that. Completely fuck over the poor farmers. I would enjoy doing that, I'll be honest with you. Jesus, we have an asshole amount of stones. Are those getting traded correctly? Not really, we need a fucking road for that. I'm immediately gonna buy that because... Oh. King crashed. Okay, well, I mean, that's the first crash in fucking, like, what, we've, we've, we've played this game for, like, uh, how many hours? Yeah, almost five hours, okay, one, one crash in five hours for an early access game, that, that is something I'm willing to overlook. Okay, good game, let's see, one was, okay, about, like, 20 minutes ago, Mara problem, 20, more like 15. Okay. Not really amusing. Nobody likes crashes now, but uh, also not, not really a problem. Uh, was my field already set up at this point? No, of course not. God damn it, game. Uh, I need to do this again. Forming. Farmhouse. Eat. Some reason you really just want to snap there, eh? Good enough. Wheat. Wheat. Let it let it sit. Then we need once again the windmill ninety-nine percent and a little communal oven. Structure finished out. This was just when the stone cutter camp was built. Well, that's kind of cute. I need to set this up again. Um, stone, we export stone and we want to keep like 20 of them. Because we want to build something, but the rest gets sold for profits. Food stocks, ah uh, yes. I'm not going to trade any bread any longer because that costs an arm and a leg. Instead, I would like to buy the road for... Stone, because stone we get an asshole amount quickly if we can just sell it. We have a large deficit of it anyway.
It didn't. And it makes me not completely straight on this particular side, but fuck me, I guess. Also, the uh, farmhouse needs to be built the quickest because we need the people in there. As for everything else. I must admit though, you know, considering that it's been almost five hours since we started playing this, it is a pleasant play. I cannot lie. It's nice and pleasant. You just sit here, you play it all nice and dandy, and uh, before you know it, some, some, some nice amount of time has passed, so that's always a good sign. Hmm. Yes, uh, we're supposed to be keeping 100 firewood, at least that is still saved. Now I just need to buy that fucking trade out. I think for the moment I'm gonna go to food, meat, no trade. Just so we can save up some money really quickly so we can buy the road for stone. Because once we start selling stone we're gonna make money really really quickly again. It is December. We knew if the farmhouse is done by January we can actually get the full year. Although technically speaking you would um, till the earth at the end of the year after the harvest. So now they have to start doing this. Uh, a bit of a weird time, but you know, we uh, survive it. We also need to collect a bit more money so we can start building up the, the orchids again, because I'm pretty sure that's not. Yeah, that wasn't done by that point. Kind of figured. Then we immediately try a little families, yes, because why not saying two in German? Okay, you just set up 40% fertility sounds good. The only thing I'm gonna be interested in watching is how much that goes down per harvest. Because I'm assuming that uh, has a bit of influence over how much of a yield you can actually get from any given yield. Okay, trading is going on, so it shouldn't take that long to get 30 monies. Yeah, we still have space for seven more families. Yep, yep, yep. I'm pretty, pretty solidly set up, I'd say. But communal oven, the windmill doesn't need anyone because we don't have anything for that anyway. Also, now that I think about it, um, do the uh, grains get thrashed in the the farmers, or, or is that uh, is there a building for that? Because I haven't seen any. Well, I'll assume the farmers will thrash. Crash their own, uh, their own shit. And our assumptions and the dangers of them. But you know what they say, one can hope. Mm, is there anything else? Not really, no. There's really not anything else we can easily sell off. Or join the Come on, game. Give me my 30 monies. I just need 30 monies. 27. I'm getting close. Come on. Buy some more from my stuff. Bye, people. Bye. Come on. They have just bought one more thing, you asshole. We're running out of food, you say? Yes, yes, I'm pretty sure we're running out of food. That doesn't really matter because summer. Well, summer, I say. Trade. By the road. Establish a trade route. Immediately start selling. Selling so and there. Uh, Start importing meat again. Meat, yeah. Meat is cheaper than bread. And bread we are gonna produce at some point ourselves. In the far, far future. Yeah. I'm just gonna assume that we're not gonna die. It's February, it's gonna get warmer and fucking berries are gonna sprout again. That berry, I will have to say, you know, if, if compare this to the last map, you know, this is actually pretty fucking sweet. Having a barrel deposit that you just basically can't empty easily. Yeah, that, that fucking helps. I'll, I'll tell you that much. 
So now we set this up. So we have one person here already. And we really need to buy some horses and shit. Because honestly, it's it's literally all about logistics at this point. And so let's want at least four people on the fields because I do think the field that's like two Morgan or something. It's uh, two point five more like I think was it. It's gonna require a lot of people. Just need a few more people to move in. Make things easier for me. You go help on the fields. Make this a for family field. Yeah. Look, I mean, at least they're following the, the logical order, you know. They start by tilling the fields, which is what you have to do first. Then you, you know, bring out the seeds. Then you let that shit grow. Then you harvest that shit. Then you till them again. Then you let them rest over because, you know, it's probably going to be fucking winter by this point. And then you start again. Somewhat satisfying, honestly. Have a game actually do the, the obvious thing. It's the same map, different region. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of figured because before we were up here in the north, and um, the north also has a berry deposit. But see, that's only 64. This one down here has 128 fully grown. And even with four foragers, I never ever seem to be able to get this uh, empty. That's quite the advantage, honestly, because that's a fucking cheap food source. I mean, think about how much work uh, we had to invest and how much money and how many people we actually need to have uh, work in the fucking field here. This, this is not even such a big field, honestly. You know, all things considered, having that sort of random berry blessing, because a blessing it is, and it seems pretty fucking amazing, honestly. Not, not, not gonna lie. Not, not gonna lie at all, that's amazing. And I do hope that come the next year, when we're actually able to um, use the field a bit more efficiently, that we can stop importing such such amounts of food. Because that's a real drain on our fucking resources. I do wonder if it would be helpful to actually... Uh, I don't think it's going to be helpful to build another one. At the moment I was like, hmm, maybe just build another fucking trading port so we can get more animals assigned to that, but if I just take over half of the animals' population and make them just uh, deal with the um, with trade goods transporting, it's probably going to slow down my logistics in all other areas again. I kind of would like to avoid that. Look, they're almost done tilling the field. Now they start seeding it. Yes. Most brutally impregnated that field like there's no other way. Pleasant indeed. Also a nice another example of you know you can make everything sound very, very perverted if you're just willing to go that little bit further. Very important lesson. We learned, I do suppose. Uh... Okay, we have a 79 come on people, move in! We've got four more, more, more spaces for you, so, you know, get get your asses in here. Okay, at this point we have three small stables, six pack animals running around and doing the best they can. I think we can relatively safely assume we've done well, everything we can, honestly. Yeah, I think we started at 40%, so let's keep the uh, watchful eye on the fertility. What about the berries? Yeah, we are quite literally not able to. Actually, I think um, we might in the future build another furniture hut to collect even more berries. I do hope that we will rather soon reach the point where we can just genuinely stop importing food. I would like to save up some money and start building up the orchids again. 
is what I'm basically trying to very, very nicely say. Uh. I guess while we wait, I can take care of the pipe again. Very important, very important piece of work that. I guess depending on how it goes, we could start. Um, I wonder though. They do have very little in the way of deposits when it comes to iron and clay. I'm assuming once those are empty, and they're not just gonna restock, are they? But like uh, now, I just wait five years or so, and I can do it again, right? Rather assuming it's gonna be somewhat uh, more finite. So maybe setting them up and letting some people work there, you know, in, in the way of a temporary worker, basically. Just to get some more resources. Might actually not be a bad idea. They like, mint right through the middle of all of my frogs. You bastards! I mean, to be fair, since we are making a good amount of money out of just the simple um, act of setting stones, adding in some iron into the mix and shit, probably not a bad idea. Hmm. Wheat is growing! Actually, once you zoom in this much, and I do like it when games actually allow you to do that, and you take a look around, it is really nice. Pleasant. Yes, pleasant. Pleasant is a good way of saying it. Okay. One of you go there, one of you go to the communal thing, and that leaves me with one worker I can basically use as a temp worker to uh, deal with the pits and shit. Because honestly, 109 units of clay, that seems like it's going to be gone quickly. I do wonder how the game is handling that. I mean, what happens once empty? Will it just disappear? Will the game then be like, well, fuck you, now you have to go to another... Oh, there's another giant berry deposit. The imminent... whatever the fuck. Yes, territory is also, that's the one I probably will conquer next, because if I set up another settlement there... Um, with that berry deposit, that's that's gonna gonna make things fucking easy. Oh, man. One poor soul has to now go into the mines. Yeah, now we actually have all of the families filled up. Okay, so you're gonna start, yeah, and you're, that goes down quickly, so let's set up you all the tray clade. Clade? Trade. Yes, language, difficult, I know, but Jesus Christ. Say that we keep 20 of those for ourselves. The rest will be sold most brutally. Actually, the trade route establishment doesn't cost much. 36, that's reasonable. Since we are relatively good of food, I'm wondering if I stop importing meat now, will that fuck me over? Just we'll try it out, I suppose. We are looking forward to a nice little harvest. Yeah, okay, the, the, the field has almost lost 10% of its fertility in one. Not even one year yet. But that's actually okay. Let, let's assume it loses 10% and another 10% 10, uh, 10 down to uh, 20. And we let it rest for a year. Might actually create another little field. Um, oh well. Another somewhat same size field. So that we can actually... Um, should have actually done this. Uh, 
The easiest way I could have done uh, um, a bit more of a um, smart crop system is in, if I had actually set up four different individual fields so that we always have one field or you know three fields let's say because they have a three year cycle so that always one little part of this stays uh, empty and can recuperate while the others bear wheat. I don't want to destroy it now, it looks nice. Oh, wait. There's always going to be some, some room for improvement later on. Hmm. I would like to get some more families though in order to actually fill that out and shit. You know what? Why not? Why not, I say? I think that was the height I was using. Oh, massive build project number 120,000 or something. That did eat a lot of my timber though, I have to admit. Just, you know, we have an amount of stone in our inventory, it's not funny. We, we need more traders, we need more people setting stone. You really do at this point. I mean, look at it. I told them to basically go until we have a surplus of fucking 20. We, we're not losing enough fucking stones. Look, I take care of it. Even chopping it up nicely. Nice, look at that. Hmm. You know, well, I have to say, they, they did put in a lot of nice little details. I like it. Yes, game, okay, I know. They're getting soaked. I can see it raining on my weed. All intents and purposes, I'm not yet completely blind. And look, and then they're storing it in. How much wheat did we get? 70, 80... Getting 200. Nice, nice, nice. 120. 138. Not bad for a start. Not bad at all. And now they're once again taking the earth, as they should. And we have 28% left. Okay, that's not good. I guess a rest year is going to help with that, most definitely. Yeah, are we at the moment importing food? No, we're not. For all intents and purposes, we are not yet starving, so... Okay, so now we have wheat. So How and when will this wheat get turned into... Well, just the grains, basically, because you know, do, do need to uh, smash that in order to create the grains that you can then mill. Little to make flour, which you then need to combine with water and salt to create bread. Not, you know, the most difficult thing in the world to make bread, but quite, quite, quite the improvement. Winter is approaching. Yes, game. I have been made aware of such. I think we actually have still a bit of a logistical bottleneck because the people actually do not... Um, well, the uh, six-pack animals don't seem to be capable of, you know, getting regular resources up there. 
for building purposes, which means they're probably quite, quite busily running around, uh, yeah, moving materials from A to B to C. Okay, farmers. Almost done tilling the fields again. Are you then going to thrash it, or will this be exported? Or you know, I kind of like to know. <laughs> Just out of pure bitter interest. Would I need like to know? Okay, so four people actually do manage to get the berries empty. Nice. Also, this field takes bloody fucking four families and keeps it pretty busy throughout the months, just with tilling and seeding. They like all this work for what? Or measly 130. Ah, look, they're doing it. They're grains. They're producing grains. Good. I was kind of scared that there was a building I would have to unlock first, but apparently not. But bless that. Yeah, and then the grains go to the windmill. Now the windmill produces floor. And that gets here into the little communal oven. Because, you know, in the older days, <clears throat> it wasn't actually that common for people to have uh, a whole fucking kitchen in their house. Also seems a bit wasteful, doesn't it, you know? Why not do it with a little communal oven? Gets things done just the same. And it's cheaper because you only need one of them. First self-made bread. Nice. But for all intents and purposes, that should indeed help. with the uh, food situation, and it might actually put us well and truly out of the need to import the debt, so we can just export shit and, well, make, make a nice lot of money to build up even, even more good stuff. Kind of want to wait a little bit until we get in um, a stable surplus, basically, of food, so that we can then start planning a bit bigger. Like, you know, planning an army, shit, to, to conquer new areas. Actually, are there still unconquered areas? I mean, yeah. Not many, though. Oh, well, doesn't really matter. Okay, you are done. You are pretty much done. I wonder how much bread that was, actually, that we produced in the end. So there's still grains and there's still floor in the granary. We need that we can still probably produce a lot more. The rate's actually pretty okay. I would say. Yeah. Now begins the long journey of building apple trees. I mean, you know, I have no problem with apples. They're pretty tasty. It's a new year and we have not run out of food. Actually, we, the winter is almost over. We have three months of food supplies left. Fuel is actually a bit more lower, but that's because we are selling off our surplus all the time. Somewhat tempted to actually apply another person. For woodcutting pur 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 purposes. And yeah, I think stone will be the uh, the great equalizer for us. Yes, it can't even be said in any other way. How about that clay? And we are setting it. And it's almost empty anyway. Basically, we wait until it's empty, then we demolish the mining pit. We go to the iron deposit, which is also pretty fucking poor. 
get that shit done. Now we have four fucking traders. That should never be a problem we need to worry about again, hopefully. I mean, we could employ four more farmers, which means if they can deal with such a field in one year pretty well, we can probably have a field of roughly the same size again. And then play around with the crop rotation, basically. <sighs> also, at least my genius plan goes, yes. Let's see here. Hmm. Down there's a bit more green. I mean, we still have a bit more green left here, but we would kind of have to... I guess willing to compromise would be what I would be saying. I guess we... Mm. Somewhat cave of that, honestly. I think this field was roughly 2.5 Morgan in size, so... Uh, in here... Okay, right now I have two people left for that. I guess at this point I would also need... What is actually, how is the fertility for other crops? Barley is actually not bad with 21%. Hmm. I mean, barley can be made into mold. Even if we can't make beer immediately, we can at least sell that shit, can't we? Maybe having um, another field for barley might actually not be bad. Actually, field-wise, would a little field of barley down here work, I wonder? Why don't you let me place that? What's your problem, game? Game is like, I'm not gonna tell you what my problem is. Who do you think you are? I'm like, ah... Uh, the player? Oh, is it because the windmill? Because you're not accounting for the fucking windmill, is it? Okay, we might be able to solve that. Of those moments that's like, hmm, creativity. Yeah, then I need to do the same thing for that one. It does seem to solve the initial problem. Looks a bit horrible, mind you, but. Uh, Created a bit of a horrible little thing. See, yeah, barley 13%. Well, that's not pleasant at all. And the game crashed. Yeah. I don't know what precisely this is what we are doing, but uh, we apparently have found uh, something the game doesn't like.
The game is like, no, I don't really like it when you do stuff like that, playing around with robots and continuing a uh, really horrible. Honda, though. It was running fucking stable for quite a long while, wasn't it? For the moment, I think the best plan would probably be to set up another field that will just cover the time when the main field is actually out. Basically, this year. I go like construction, farming, field, and I go like. This and the construction. I go like this year you will rest. Next year you will go wheat, and the year after that you go rest. Yeah, because this year this one's getting wheat, next year it's rest, then it gets wheat again. And this one gets wheat the next year. And so long as we keep a decent amount of farmers going. should be no problem whatsoever. So you're still producing bread like shit. Yeah, we still have a look at the amount of bread we have in store. Still on the bottom right of the map. This one. Hmm, more animals. I kind of like this place. I kind of like my, my unlimited berry supply, honestly. That has made my, my, my start gigging game um, quite quite a bit uh, easier. So look, I now have a crop rotation within a crop rotation. Obception, basically. I did kind of want to set up a barley field. Just for shits and giggles. I think my next claim is going to be if I ever make it. I'm gonna claim my, my dreamy land of berryness. But you will stay somewhat straight. Honestly, can't blame you. I would probably honestly do the same in, in your shoes. Okay, so this is just existing to make sure that we actually get something each and every year. So if I make a barley field down here and just uh, put it in, I think my farmers will have enough time. Not going to be very fertile, mind you. Barely but that doesn't really matter to me. Rotation, yeah, one year barley, and then we're just gonna let it uh, rest. And actually, then one year of flex. Because they, with the full workforce of eight fucking families, they get this field done in, no, uh, in, in basically a minute or so. Is there anything else I want to do? We still have floor now. And we don't have any grains either. We actually so much out of timber that we can't actually afford that, eh? That's interesting. 
Yes, it's high time that we up the timber production, eh? Yeah, for the first time in forever, you actually get help. Sword pit already has two people, the forest does. I mean, they did produce a little bit of a forest, but we definitely need more if we want to actually keep up the wood, because look at the amount of shit we've already cut. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to unlock you, because that's the whole reason why you're not actually um, producing any more foresters. Deposit under slash exhausted. Thanks, game. Okay, so that mining pit can be demolished. That answers my question, actually, because now it's actually gone. There's uh, literally nothing left. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna pick that up at some point. Well then, time to uh, get, get the iron, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Don't really want that. Mm, yeah. Made a bit of a connection. Jesus. Eight families do can actually do really cool things to the fields. Okay, so now we're gonna produce some barley and some flax. That's gonna be used for... Not that. Not that. Barley produce malt. Where the fuck do I want to set that down, though? Yeah, right, we don't have actually enough timber to do that. And this one uses in flux to linen. Okay. Actually, before I forget it, trading. I wanted to stop my trade of heights. So I kind of wanted to turn my heights into... You know what, on the side of the field, that seems reasonable. Okay, so we're never gonna get much of that, we're never gonna get much of that, nor that. We will get a bit of that. Okay, so I'm not where the animal habitat is. And I do need the tannery. And the weaver's shop, because we're also gonna get some flex. Not much, mind you, but we're gonna get some. And berries and now. No, not, not gonna turn the berries into anything. The berries actually are... One of my main eaten things. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not risk that. Thank you very much, game. Okay. We do need a few more houses, I suppose. Okay, where were we? There we were. Robin! Okay, you've got apple trees, you've got apple trees. You've got apple trees. I guess then we need to set up a few more houses. Must be we're getting to the point where you're relatively uh, food stable. If the fields work out like I uh, hope they will, <laughs> that is. If not, well, this this could be a bit, a bit too hopeful. Turn, turn, turn. Now we get something. Uh... Hmm. I don't really like that those don't get the, the little thingy extension. Okay, so we need 24 wood. Oh, we're gonna get that in a bit. Now that timber production is once again on the rise. But that was so reduced for a while.
Hmm, I do wonder though, how many foresters would I need in order to actually uh, outgrow what we are cutting? No, just out of pure interest. quite a lot. just on the fucking water again. I have no matter what, creating <coughs> a nice, a big, a large amount of new trees is probably a very good idea, since trees seems to be the only resource that we can uh, actively, easily restock. Probably a good idea to do that. Make sure that we get nice, big forest over everywhere that we can then uh, oh, harvest. Oh, more. I don't know where. Okay, let's put it very high so that they actually build this fast. Let us wait forever, basically. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me tell the serpent to save at least 20. Logs for us. I'm gonna let a full three people work on that. Three people cutting trees down, and uh, six people planting new trees. And then in a, in a year or two, we're gonna look back and see how this turns out. Oh, or will be miscalculated. Just that that is not something I care about. Once again, it seems that our fuel supplies are actually what's, uh, what's keeping us back. Put in a malt house, put in a tanner. We might want to wait until somebody else moves in because we're kind of a lot of people again. I wouldn't go that far, game. I'm pretty sure we're not going to run out of fuel, but uh, I definitely need to keep an eye on it. And we need to plan for more apple. Apples are pretty fucking tasty. We got a good apple, that is.
no, almost the complete first row has started growing apple trees. Okay, so. Tanner. Tanner. You'll be a tanner for the rest of your life. However long that life might be. We should have some barley. We've gotten some barley. happened with that though. Trade crops. I mean food supply seems still to be rising although we are mm, having more people now. So maybe we have actually reached the natural limits where the farmers actually can't keep up with what is uh, put in front of them. Maybe putting down another farmhouse might actually be somewhat reasonable. I do hate that you're not straight. Okay, building. Oh well, I guess if we just put in another two uh, other families, I'm sure they're gonna get the idea. Fuel, yeah, this need fuel, that seems to be the problem. Holy fucking shit. Had a bit of a little forest going on here, that, that disappeared fucking quickly. Uh, maybe a bit too much in the way of logger still. Yeah, it just takes too long to regrow my fucking trees, that's, that's probably gonna be the problem. Anything I need more woodcutters, sadly. 